Hi everyone, my name is Matt Leonard and welcome to the Fashion Shoot Experience. My job really at the moment is to be the, the linchpin to pull everything together. So I have many roles. I'm being mainly the producer at the moment. So pulling all the location, styling, models, the whole team together. I'm a photographer. Stylist. Model. Makeup artist. Extraordinaire. We've got a great team here and I'm uh, looking forward to uh, a great weekend of shooting. We, uh, we got a lot of requests to come over, back over to New York. We had a successful event last year in, in March and uh, October in 2012 I started looking for the location. Uh, it's always a bit of a task because it's a big team, we've got a big production here. There's going to be 30, 40 people here today. Um, we need lots of rooms, with, like I say, lots of different flavours to, to shoot it. So I managed to find one place where we are now in, in Long Island. Um, very big, beautiful house, very expensive. So the house is officially a hundred thousand pounds a month, and she will not normally let it for less than a month. I approached her and asked her to hire it for a week, and she basically laughed me down. And after a few emails, she said, "Okay, twenty-five thousand pounds for a week." And a few more emails later, I managed to sort of halve that and a little bit more sweet, more talking later, I got a couple of thousand off. So as you can imagine, it's still very expensive. And that's, this is just one piece of the puzzle. Yeah, it's crazy. Look a team to get yeah. into. What have you got on there? It looks really grubby, that lens. Buggers. I'm partner with Natalie um, in Miss Anna Photography. And I sort of, we often call it the, the left hand and right hand brain partnership. I do a lot of logistic and technical size and Natalie's left to do her fantastic creative side. So we work very well on, on, on that front uh, and we, we enjoy these roles and this is something we, we sort of talk to people about and, and try and encourage them to you know sort of create a team based based around um, sharing um, sharing the jobs um, especially on the creative side. It's once you start doing logistics uh, and everything else, it can sort of upset your creativity. Um, so I basically deal with a lot of logistics and free Natalie up so that she, uh, she can be more creative. I get asked many times why, why I start producing these events. And, uh, really, it's down to the fact that I genuinely love doing them. They take a lot, a lot of, lot of work, but you know, I'm looking for beautiful models, beautiful styling, beautiful houses. It's, you know, it's, it's a pleasure for me. It, it really is. I need to enjoy myself when I'm doing this. And if I don't enjoy doing this, I'll, I'll stop doing it. It's, it's as simple as that. So I'm up first, always up first, first things coffee's got to get on, um, people start arriving. We've got a great team behind us, so I'm, I'm fairly comfortable that everything's going to be done. Um, models start arriving very early, half past six, we have um, breakfast for half an hour, got to make sure that they're all nicely fueled up, styling starts at seven. We had a big meeting um, last night just to make sure that everyone knows what their role is so we know what models are going with which hair and makeup artist and the other two models will be going into wardrobe just to have um, a loose dressing just so we know that everything is working. We have three sessions in the morning. These have got to start on, on time. So if we start having two sessions in the morning and four in the afternoon people start getting tired and we'd like to have a nice lunch break as well so that everyone can just unwind for a little bit get some energy and then we have a nice long 
afternoon shooting. This is when we start to run in a, into a few problems because things that were working the previous night decide to <laughs> decide to stop working. No, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's just unacceptable. So they sent me five flash units and two of them are not working. It's fine. That's, that's all that matters. Hold on, Where's the other pocket with uh, But there's always a workaround. I, I understand that things happen, and I always have contingencies because um, you know we've been doing this before, and I understand that things go wrong, and, and you need to have a backup plan. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Are you there? Just just People outside of the industry like really have no idea and like producer is like a nice word for you do everything to make sure it gets done. And so there is nothing that is not his job, there is nothing that he is really not in charge of. I've seen Matt, you know, fix lights, I've seen him clean, I've seen him, you know, tell people where they need to be, he's on top of everybody's time limits, he's just, like, I look at him, I actually feel sorry for him, he seems so tired, but he's still so on top of everything, that I'm like, go Matt, go, like, you're awesome, and it's, like, he's, you know, jet lagged, he hasn't had any sleep, and he's just trying to make sure that everything gets done, so the pictures are beautiful, and that, you know, Natalie doesn't have to worry about anything but taking beautiful pictures, and that is his role here today really as producer like you're on top of you're on top of everything and it's it's a hard job and he's really a great guy for that job so on our fashion shoot experiences matt and i generally have quite kind of distant roles we're usually in different places at any one time he's taking care of getting everyone in the right place and then when everyone's in the right place he is sorting out technical problems and running around and I'm busy just shooting in my particular slot. Right, so we need to get moving, we need to get, how many models have we got out so far? I think it's just Troy now. Is it just Troy now? We've just got, I'm just aware that these guys need, need to start shooting. I don't like things going out of my hands. This is, if I, if I, um, if I make a mistake, then fair enough, but if someone else makes a mistake, then obviously I can feel frustration on that. Um, because I can't do anything about it, it's out of my hands. Yeah, you, know, you can't, you can't, you can rush it a little bit, but if you start, because it's just going to get annoyed if I start banging on the door. Oh, totally. Because only do his thing. It's your gig, not his. <laughs> it's our gig. Who's that? Our gig. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He really knows how to tell you what needs to be done without offending or without, you know, making it sound like a lot of people talk to you, especially in the fashion industry, and sometimes it could seem like really urgent or even degrading at times, but Matt is never like this. He's just, he knows how to do it, very polite and uh, not offensive at all. Not a lot of people can do that. Hello, ET ETAs. Who's this? Did I communicate with the styling teams? And, and I have what I call faffing time, which means, you know, I expect them to overrun. If they didn't overrun, if, when you're doing styling at this level, um, you've got to expect half an hour for a pair of shoes to go on and three hours for the first layer of makeup to go on. And yeah, it comes out. Like they come out on time or almost on time. One straggler, but uh, we can make that up. Um, so yeah, I was really pleased with everything today, really pleased. Uh, the producer, Matt, has been incredible. Um, he's been floating around everywhere, just omnipresent. I feel like every time I look around, he's there and he's just offering so much help, you know, whether it's holding um, one of the reflectors or, you know, throwing a skirt up in the air so we can catch it as the shutter clicks and it's just, 
he, at the same time, he's trying to keep everybody organized, and he has his own things going on, but he's been incredibly composed and smiling. Like, I can tell he's actually enjoying being here and doing this, which is, it's great. It makes me feel like I'm making him happy, which is very important to me, too. Basically, it's a really simple trick. You get some heavy lace, throw it over. It takes about five minutes to warm up. Okay. okay. And that's not going to get too hot on you. No, I've had that on there for like hours and hours. That's an LED light? No, this is HMI. Okay. But you can see what's happening already, look. Sharon, I'm just changing your shot completely here. What? I'm just throwing Oh, some, wow. Yeah, I'm just What did you just do? But I'm on my life here, you completely messed, messed it up. I know, yeah. I can But this wow. is what I do, I, I interfere. Oh, wow. <gasps> mm -hmm. Yeah, I interfere, that's what I do. <laughs> One of the standout highlights for me today was the group of people that we had. Everyone was absolutely fantastic, laughing and joking all day, really having a blast, really enjoying it. And, and that puts me at ease as well, because the bottom line is the clients have got to have fun. They've got to enjoy it. And when I see them enjoying it, then, then you know that puts a smile on my face. I have never seen a better, stronger producer than Matt. Matt is absolutely unbelievable. When I grow up, I want to be like Matt. Setting up on the third day is just, it's, it's pretty much already done. Um, anything that can go wrong technically generally has already gone wrong by then. Um, <coughs> oh my god, my brain's completely gone. Um, you're gonna be out. And um, this morning I felt so bad for Matt. You can see he's like so frazzled. He's like, thank god, it's Celeste. He's not saying that, but his look says that. And I. When we came in this morning, he was washing dishes, and I was like, you gotta love this guy. Like, I, I don't know too many producers that would be in there washing dishes. He would have made somebody else do it. And so he gets, once again, Matt gets huge kudos from me. He's an amazing producer, and everything really has run very smoothly because he has been on top of his shit as well. Yeah, on top of your shit, people. <laughs> I keep everything moving because obviously the third day, people are people. The energy is just a, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. The first couple of hours, everyone's um, needs a little, needs a little moving on. It's a little bit slower to get going. He's got a fantastic voice too, and you know, I just get like this, and I will do anything for him, no matter how tired I am, no matter how I just don't want to do anything. But Matt comes in and there's his beautiful British accent. He tells you something. You're just like, okay, five more minutes, done. So, <laughs> I'll do it again. I can go right now and do the whole thing all over again. Obviously I, I knew the, the yellow dress was coming and I know that Annabelle is going to be wearing it and it's something that um, we, we planned, we've, we've obviously knew we got the, the yellow library with the big stairs uh, and we just envisaged the, the large dress coming down so Leonid's been fantastic and created this yellow dress so we approached him with the idea of end of the day taking, taking Annabelle into the pond and uh, just falling around with the dress. And luckily she was a real, like I say, a real trooper, a real sport, and she was up for it. And we got some great images. In the morning and a little bit after lunch, at those times he was getting kind of like as he, as he says, getting the needle where he's just like about to explode um, or just talk sternly to people. So 
yeah, he was kind of losing his cool a little bit, but the thing is you also have to keep that game face on because you can't really erupt properly on something like this. You've got to, because you know there's always a way to get through the problem, whatever the problem is. It's just tired. That's all it is. It's just tiredness. You know, I um, barely slept for the last, <laughs> uh, probably, what, four or five days. But you know, even when it got a little frustrating toward the end and uh, everybody was a little tired and, uh, you know, Matt was trying to assemble everybody for second part, you know, last part of the experience. Uh, and you would think he should get really frustrated and, and angry, but he didn't. He still kept himself together and uh, he was really nice. Matt was a little bit frazzled today. Um, I just the, the very last day of the shoot, everything coming back together, um, I think the the whole s maybe stress of the experience got to him, um, but it he was still able to you know give help where it was needed, and he was still able to give ideas on set, and you know still help out as much as he could. And you know I think um, regardless of how stressed he might have been or frazzled, he still was able to do his job. And um, you know everybody gets stressed out, so. It's, I don't blame him at all for being just slightly um, a little bit frizzy and frazzled today. <laughs> we, can have, we can have a little bit of an energy drop, but we managed to get through it and everyone's really happy, all the clients are happy, um, no more technical problems, um, no real dramas. Um, we managed to have some great fun at the end and finished on a fantastic note and I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon with that. And one thing I will say is Anything's possible if you really put your mind to it. I mean, you can see that we've got all of these models, all the styling, all these clients, and on paper it just looks impossible. But if you plan it correctly, take your time, then, then you can do it. It's a big, big effort to pull a production like this together. But when it does come together, it's, it's, um, it's really rewarding, very rewarding. The best advice I can give you is don't don't be scared of your big dreams. You know, if, if you could, if you can think about doing, you're thinking about doing it for a reason because Paul, your subconscious wants to do it. Is saying to you, oh, I want to do this. So there you have it. Um, three days of mayhem, and everyone's over the moon. And we've had a fantastic, fantastic time, and. That's it, it's over, it's finished until next time. And that's it, fashion shoot experience. Hi everyone, Miss Aniela here. As you know, we can't fit everything into our episodes, so please head to our pro download section where you can see more of my editing, more of the director's cut, and more of the fashion shoe experience. And I hope you enjoy.